What's up guys, welcome back to another video, Cars with Abe. So appreciative of all the subs, thank you so much, I welcome you. For those of you that are new, we are currently doing a disc brake conversion on this Ford Falcon, and we have already completed the front disc brakes, but now it is time for the rear. Let's see what exactly is in this box. All right, so I actually have not been in this box whatsoever. So we have, Oh, it looks like uh, parking brake cables there, instructions. As I mentioned before, I don't have any idea what I'm doing, so those are good, and hopefully those are just as detailed as Will would. And we have more boxes. This feels like a caliper. So on the, I don't know if you guys can tell, but on the instructions here, the picture that it shows, we ended up going with the rear disc brakes, obviously, but for the emergency brakes, they're not drum emergency brakes. There's actually a emergency brake on the actual caliper that is basically gonna clamp that rotor for that emergency brake. It should bolt right up to it, but you never know. So let's see what's in these boxes. Pretty sure this is a caliper, but can't tell for sure these days. And it's like Christmas in July. I mean, it is July. Yep, here's a caliper. Okay, so these are black, so they don't really match, I guess. Now, another thing that I did, as you can tell, these are not Willwoods. I did not get Willwood rear disc brakes. One, because they were super expensive, in my opinion. I just, I just opted out. I felt like it was a good bang for a buck. It came from the right stuff detailing. Some of you guys may have never even heard of it. Honestly, I haven't, but for what it is and the reviews that it had on it, it's good price and quality stuff, honestly. So I, I went ahead and I got it on Summit Racing, just so you guys know, they do have all their stuff on Summit Racing. Yeah, I know, internet's probably like, oh, that's not the right way to open up a box. Well, you know what? I have one hand and the other one's holding a camera. Oh, dang, look at that, dang. This is actually a fun fact. I did not order the drilled and slotted rotors, just so you guys know. I think they might have put it in there by accident. Again, I didn't want anything fancy on this car, so, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed in that, but at the same time, if it works, you know, I don't know. I mean, it was cheap, you know? Let's get to it. So we have the wheel off. So rusty. All kinds of brakes off, finally. So this is what we didn't have before. That way we can go ahead and pull this axle out. Sorry for the lighting guys, but uh, it might not be the best in this video. And just like that axle is out. The slide hammer is amazing. There we go, one axle. Again, guys, I am not a professional, so there's probably different ways to do this, but there seems to be hard brake line going to the backing plate here for the drum brake, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off now. So far, we're moving along. Got the hard brake line off, and now we need to get this parking brake cable off the backing plate so we can fully get this off. All right, so we have the axle here. We have this handy-dandy table, and the instructions say to take off this plate in between the bearing and the flange and i think we have an old spider there but needless to say let's get to cutting so as far as the instructions are for the rear brakes they're not as good as will would. just wanted to give you guys a heads up because sometimes it's really nice to have very detailed instructions so that way you don't have any questions whereas these they say things like you may have to do this you may have to do that so there's a lot of improvising um so definitely keep that in mind if you guys ever wanted to get one of these And at last, we do have the flange bracket and the caliper mounting bracket the way it's intended to be. <laughs> 
I, I'm only laughing guys because this kind of took us a little bit longer than what it should but needless to say with it taking as long as it did on this side we know exactly what to do on that other side rotor is on the next thing all right so we have the caliper the rotor the brackets all that mounted minus the line going to the caliper what's interesting is they do use like a banjo fitting on this one uh, as you can see right here which is all right and everything now unfortunately we have test fitted that wheel over there and well this setup does not work with the 14 inch wheels so we knew that we were going to have to change all the wheels up but we didn't necessarily know if we could keep the 14 inch wheel set up or go one size bigger for a 15 inch unfortunately this 14 is really close to that caliper and it doesn't really spin freely so we'll see what kind of wheels and tires that we can get for this puppy stack because I want to drive it so new day new side <laughs> it should not take us too long though because of the fact that we know what we're doing now without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into the driver's side and it's another hot day so forgive me for all of this mess that you guys have to see it's like a thousand percent humidity today Now we gotta get this flange plate off. Now that that flange plate is done, and with the axle, you literally take the axle out just to cut this plate off, and that's it. And just like that, we got the backing plate for the drums off. Line disconnected. We're moving along. You make do with what you have. I'm so happy that this side is moving along. So we have the shims here and we have the flange bracket. Driver's side brackets and shims complete. Now we take the caliper mounting bracket, put her on. This is not a how-to video because I'm not a professional on any of this stuff. The first side took us forever to do. The second side is flying by just because we're a little bit more knowledgeable. Anyways, we have new bolts, voila. And we have the new bracket on, ready for that caliper. Here's the caliper. It does give you a left and a right on the caliper, so you don't mess that up. So that's good. Rotor's on. So that just about sums up today's video. I'm so sorry that we don't have this Ford out and going at the moment. Believe me, guys, I really, really want this Ford driving for however long that may be before we come across more issues with it. Uh, but I definitely do want to see it driving and enjoy it a little bit. So what we have next, we have to take care of the wheel situation. These rear wheels do not fit on on a 14 inch wheel however these fit a 14 inch wheel so we're probably just gonna go with a 15 inch rim i don't know what size tire just yet here in a little while we should have this ford up and going hopefully hopefully next video anyways thank you for watching this video being a part of this whole build it means the world to me so definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos and don't miss out that first drive guys because it is coming i promise you it's coming so soon peace